Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different to usual. This is going to be the coronavirus and the artists, five ways to stay productive during lockdown. I'm aiming this video more at people that are stuck inside. Maybe they're on lockdown, they're going a little bit mad and they're needing something to do, maybe something productive to do. Obviously, these are just going to be my suggestions and ideas. If you have any yourself, please leave a comment below. You might be helping other people out as well. So idea number one is to tidy your workspace and organize your files. For some people, this is only going to be a really quick job. Maybe you already keep your workspace really neat and tidy. You know where everything is. You know how you like it. Mine doesn't look too bad in the background. If you could see behind the camera, you would see it's extremely messy. But as most of us already know, having a nice clean workspace to actually work in um, helps us be productive. It makes us feel better. So it's definitely the best place to start especially if your desk has been you know really messy for a long time now and you've always been meaning to tidy it but you just never get round to it it may be as simple as just putting some pens back in their pots maybe giving your desk a polish maybe you've got some old documents that you can get rid of just things that you don't normally get round to doing for some people maybe you have an idea in your head how you want your workspace to look maybe it's not just the desk maybe it's the whole room maybe it needs redecorating it might not be many people, but now is a good opportunity to do anything like that whilst you are off work. And of course, organising your files. This is especially a big one if you are a digital artist like me. Um, if you were to look at my computer screen, you can't even see my desktop image because I have so many files on my desktop that it just completely covers it. I am constantly saving new Photoshop documents as backups. I'm always looking on the internet on Google for reference images for whatever it is I'm working on at the time. I have absolutely tons and tons of images and I always mean to go back through them and organize them, delete what I don't need, but it's just something I never get around to doing. But I know there's gonna be other artists that are in the same boat as me there, so now would be a great time to do that. Idea number two, studying from art books and art courses. So we just talked about organizing your desk and workspace. That might already include organizing your art books, but now might actually be the time to learn from them. And what I mean by that is if you're anything like me, you've been buying books probably for years and you've probably not actually read or studied that many of them, mainly because I don't get that much time to just sit down and learn from the books, even though that is always my intention. So now would be quite a good opportunity to do that. Online delivery still seems to be working fine at the moment. So it might be worth popping onto Amazon and maybe ordering that book you've been looking at for a while. I would recommend Andrew Loomis books to start with, especially if you want to learn human anatomy or how to draw heads. If you don't have any art books or maybe you've already read them, you want to learn from something else, there are absolutely tons of good courses online as well. There are a few different options. So if you do want to pay, you can get sort of premium courses on Skillshare and Udemy and things like that. And no, this video is not sponsored by Skillshare, even if it is the only video on YouTube that is not. That being said, there's absolutely loads of free content out there, especially on YouTube. So I'll put some channels up on the screen now for you to look at. I would highly recommend the Proco channel, regardless of whether you are a complete beginner or an advanced artist. This guy really knows his stuff and he is an amazing teacher and really entertaining as well. So that's just one that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. There are absolutely tons of amazing channels. If you have any favorites, leave them in a comment below and help others out as well. It doesn't matter whether you prefer learning from books, YouTube or paid premium courses. There is definitely something out there for you. Idea number three, try a new medium. It's pretty self-explanatory this one, but it really is a good opportunity to try another medium. So for example, I often work digitally or even just with pencil and paper. These are my preferred mediums, but they're also quite easy to just pick up and start drawing. Whereas something like watercolour maybe requires a little bit more time to set up. Maybe you need certain paper, you need your water, brushes, etc. I don't know the process off the top of my head. Normally, I only get like half an hour to sit down and draw. So painting isn't very practical for me. By the time I've set it up, I'm probably going to be done. But if you're in all day now and you need something to do, then maybe having enough time to take up painting would be a really good idea. I can't think of every medium off the top of my head to list them all, but there's also just things like colored pencils and of course markers are always really popular. 
basically going out of your comfort zone and testing other mediums is a really great way to grow as an artist. Number four, working on your portfolio, commissions and social media presence. This one is not going to be relevant for everyone and it also depends on whether you even want to do commissions. So some people that do art as a hobby won't be interested in this. Some people maybe already do it and others are maybe complete beginners so won't be interested in it anyway. But for those of you that have been considering taking commissions, now might be a really good opportunity. Not only because we potentially have a bit of free time at the moment, but also a little bit of extra income is definitely going to help some of us a lot. I don't really want to go too much into detail in this video about how to get commissions because it's quite a, it could be quite a big video and this one's probably quite long already. But to really simplify it, as long as you are practicing and your work is at a good standard, if you are posting that online regularly on certain websites, then eventually someone is going to see your work and if they like what they see, then maybe they'll commission you. Now, obviously, where you post your work depends on what kind of work you actually do. I know that a lot of people use DeviantArt for commissions, so that would be a good place to start. As well as that, a lot of people get commissions on Instagram, which we'll take a look at in a second. Obviously, the more work you put out there, as long as it is to a good standard, the more chance you have of someone seeing it and messaging you about commissions. This also leads on to social media, so places such as Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. These are all great places to get commissions from as well. I have seen people get commissions and I've seen people also doing art auctions and selling work online through them. So you may have to get a little bit creative, but there are definitely ways to use them. And of course, the more that you use these websites, the more followers you will get, which again opens up more options for the future. Or maybe if you're a hobby artist, it just gives you the opportunity to share your work with other people. I mentioned portfolio as well. So even if you don't want to earn any money through commissions, you might want a career in art, maybe in something like the video game industry. So if so, don't worry about making money off these yet, but just concentrate on getting some nice finished pieces to build up your portfolio with. Idea number five, that project you have been putting off. So I haven't been very specific with this one, and that's because everybody's got a different project they're working on on the side, or maybe everyone's got a project they want to work on on the side, but they never get around to actually doing it. Now, there are so many things that this could be. For example, maybe you're a character artist, but you've always wanted to try drawing a comic book or a graphic novel, but due to time constraints, you probably never get around to it. So a few more examples would be animation. A lot of digital art programs now have the features to actually create animations in. So for example, Photoshop and also Procreate, I think, have them in. There are plenty of other programs you can do it in as well. But working on an animation is quite a time consuming project to do. So yeah, now would be a great time. Something I like to do is actually make my own stickers. So a bit of a shameless promo for me here. But making merchandise can be really fun to do. You don't have to be an amazing artist to do it. It can earn you a little bit extra income. And maybe if you're an artist that wants to sell things at conventions, it gives you something to sell. Taking it back to some of the previous points, your next project might be something as simple as learning, I don't know, lighting and colour, maybe how to draw the human head, something like that. Or even maybe you follow someone on Instagram and you really like their art style and you've always meant to, you know, give it a go and try draw something in that style yourself, but you just never get around to doing it. So regardless of how big or small the project is, now would be a really good time to try it. So there you have it. There's five productive ideas you could do whilst you're stuck inside. Again, these are just ideas. I'm sure there's plenty more things you could do to be productive. Please do leave me a comment below and let me know what suggestions you guys have. Also, if you want to show your support and help me out, please do share the video with any of your friends or artists you think would enjoy this video. It's also worth remembering that you should be trying to enjoy yourself whilst doing these things. Yes, sometimes art can get quite difficult and it can be really frustrating if you're drawing something and it's maybe not turning out so well. We've definitely all been there at some point, so just try and relax, try to have fun and just try to enjoy what you are doing. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment below and be sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching everyone.